What's up, everybody? Oculus Prime coming at you with a video from Blade and Sorcery. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions on this game recently, so figured I'd go through and see if I can help answer some. So a lot of the questions have been the same, uh, such as how to make sure that the height is right and where is the map uh, after the update. So we're going to just kind of go through some new things here with the game and hopefully get you guys out there and uh, get you slaying. So I'm going to come over here and select my game. And before I hit play, I'm going to hit auto height. And that'll adjust the height of the player in the game to my height. Uh, if you tried to mess around with this, you might get it off just a little bit. Uh, and that can make your player a lot shorter or higher than you really want them to be. So make sure you just do auto height and whatever position you're going to be playing the game in. From there, you can go ahead and hit play. All right, so we're in the uh, the house now. The map used to be right here on the wall. Now they've got a, uh, a, a little torch there, and a lot of people have not been able to find it. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I had just about given up, and then I just happened to stumble across it. So before I show you guys this map, I'm going to get my, uh, my loadout set up. All right, so once you're all set up, you've got any cheats done that you want to get done you've got your loadout the way that you want it uh, there's two different ways that you can get out of this house you used to not be able to leave this house other than just going to the map and selecting a location so there's a door here and there's a door here simply grab the door squeeze the trigger and the door is free to move and you are now outside so I did a lot of walking around looking uh, again, I had pretty much given up on finding the map and decided that uh, I was going to make a video explaining to you guys how disappointed I was. And then just by happenstance, I looked this direction and I saw the little, just a little bit of color. And I said, that can't be, there's no way that's possible. But sure enough, the map is down here. So, you come from your house, down these rocks. And I guess I kind of see why the, uh, the game makers did it this way. You know, you're getting ready to set out on an adventure. So you look at the map and select your destination from here. <clears throat> so, we all have played Canyon, Market, Arena, Ruins. Outpost is the uh, dungeons. Uh, adventure so that's more of a storyline based um, it's very very linear you know you you go a certain path and you're killing enemies along the way but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through all four of these and show you where the books are to spawn equipment and where to spawn uh, enemies as well and I'm also going to show you some new updates that they have with the magic so first things first, let's go to Canyon. All right, so we've just spawned into the Canyon. Uh, when you first spawn, you should spawn right here in front of this book. And this book allows you to select your different waves of who you want to fight and what type of wave, wave it is. Behind you. You have the book to spawn whatever weapons or gear you might want. You have your rack, and you also have some archery targets here. On the other side, you can see straight ahead up on top, there's another podium there. That podium is also to spawn waves of enemies. So it's right here. Uh, it's the same book on both sides. There's no difference in either book. It just makes it easier depending on what side you end up on after a battle. You can go up and spawn more enemies for yourself. All right, so now we're back home. Next to the ship. Walk up here, and you can select a new arena. Go to the market. All right, so we are now in the market. If you go to the right, you have a podium here. This is your wave book. You can select 
what kind of wave you're going to do here. And just to the right of that, you have your gear and equipment and your rack. Right, next, we're going to go to the arena. All right, so once you spawn into the arena, do an about face. You've got your rack here with your equipment and gear book. And directly next to that is your wave book. And last but not least, we'll go to the ruins. All right, so we have spawned into ruins. Uh, immediately to the right is the rack where you can store weapons for uh, battles in case you lose a weapon or anything like that. Right here, you've got the podium with the wave book on it. Spawn whatever waves you want. And right over here is the gear and equipment book. All right, so now that we've got all that out of the way, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple new things that came out with the update as well. Uh, we're gonna go to my favorite place, the market. You can see that you still have two different uh, game types, survival, just wave after wave, or you can do sandbox where you select your weapons and your enemies of your choice and so on and so forth. All right, so now that we're in the market, you can come up here, you have different waves. So when you select a wave, it'll tell you how many will be alive at one time, how many you will get total, your health and their health. All right, so let's talk about the new updates with the magic. So as we all know, you have your di three different types of magic. <clears throat> You've got your electricity, you got your fire, and your telekinesis. So we'll start with electricity. Just like before, if you pull up some electric into your hand, you can uh, shoot electric lightning, bolts, whatever you want to call them, from your hands into your enemies ahead of you. But let's say you're getting surrounded and you need to stun a couple guys at the same time. Pull up electric in both hands, put it together, and then lay one arm on top of the other. And that's a good way to stun everyone that's around you. Moving on to fire, just like before, you have your fireball that you can throw and steer. But, you can now put fire together and create a massive meteor that is also steerable, but not quite as responsive. And last but not least, just like before, with the telekinesis, you can push or uh, affect different things in your environment. But, let's take this dagger, throw it on the ground. We'll take our telekinesis, put that together throw it up in the air. Maybe. This one is really hard to get right. There it is. And now, everything in the area is floating. You can see rocks floating around me. It's the new new stuff with the magic. So I hope this answers some of the questions that you guys have. Uh, there's still a lot of questions out there that I still don't know the answer to. I'm working on them as best I can for you guys. And I'm really sorry that it took this long to get this video out to you. But uh, hopefully this gets you into the game at least. Get you playing. Get you uh, doing all the things that you see on Facebook and YouTube and all that jazz. So... Until next time, Oculus Prime, signing off.